Okay, so we're gonna start off in the living room. I'm gonna show you the living room and then show you what it looks like, like a panoramic view of the living room and it might get darker just because of the light. Okay, so we're gonna start off right here because it's gonna be like the first thing you see as soon as you enter like the house and into the living room. Um, this chair is just like a wood chair that I picked up at Goodwill recently. I picked it up for about six dollars. I was actually looking for something like this. I was really wanting something to bring that wood tone into the living room and this corner and I found this one and I just thought it was really pretty and I did pick up another one as well but I went ahead and put this one right here because it doesn't have like the handles and or like the armrest and I just thought it would make the little area right here a little bit more open and easier to walk through. Um, I do have a pillowcase and this one is from God, I, I don't even I don't even remember the brand or the name if I remember I'll put it somewhere in the description um, but it just says home and then it has you know uh, Phoenix Arizona and then when we purchased our home and then right here I have a stack of books that I did make myself I'm actually missing our other dogs name so I have to make new ones or at least add him in there and then I have just uh, some greenery and um, this little, um, I can't, this is an ornament from Hobby Lobby. They always come out with them during uh, Christmas time and it's just like some combat boots. And I just keep this here because my husband was in the military and it just has our names. And then down here I just have a lantern from Walmart and it has a candlestick or a candle in there but that is this little six section right here here to my TV stand I just have the TV mounted I don't have anything on the sides right now uh, I'm still looking for something to put right there I just haven't really decided but I have this TV stand it's actually a night or a dresser I'm sorry a dresser that I picked up from offer up I want to say I paid like $30 I chalk painted it with any Sloan chalk paint um, I can't remember the name. I'm so bad. Um, I can't remember the name of the Annie Sloan one. It's like the beige cream one and I just distressed it and we've had it for several years. Um, it's a great piece. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. It's just um, one of like my favorite pieces I've ever picked up from Facebook or I mean from offer up. On the actual TV stand, all I have is a Ray Dunn birdhouse on a galvanized um, kind of stand and then this little sign that says every family has a story um, some candlesticks and candle holders from Walmart and then this little cloche with a terracotta little pot um, this is also this planter um, with the candles this is also from Walmart I picked it up on clearance for like two dollars and then another candlestick and then I have an amper stand and I don't remember where I picked that one up and then a picture of my daughter and then the frame is actually from Goodwill then I just have like this beige runner and I believe that's from Home Goods or TJ Maxx then um, down here I just have a basket with a blanket that was my dad's and then a pillow and then I do have this jar back here hiding kind of it, it holds our coins but 
we sometimes forget that it's even there but we sometimes put coins in there um, my mom gave it to me so I don't like to get rid of stuff that they gift to me and then I just have a fan because it is hot here. Moving on to this wall, I have a faux fireplace that me and my husband recently made during quarantine. Um, it was actually a, um, it was a mirror from a, like a, like a dresser vanity type thing and we kind of redid it. Um, and I'll get up close so I can show you guys, but this one just has, um, I have a ladder right here and then obviously the, the fireplace or faux fireplace. So on the ladder I just have this sign from Dollar Tree that says love is the answer. It kind of looks, um, kind of more fallish, but I kind of like it for like year round because it does have like some of the cotton and the wreath is really pretty. And then I also have this wreath right here. It was from the 99 cent store and I just put a bow on it and that's it. I don't have any blankets hanging um, at the moment, but maybe later. So the fire, faux fireplace, whatever you want to call it, um, it does have shiplap. Uh, we put shiplap in here. Um, I painted it with Rust-Oleum chalk paint and distressed it. We did add this top part to it um, and did the dark walnut on it. I use dark walnut for like mostly everything in my house and um, really I can show you guys the sides. So my husband um, did pocket holes. That's how he put it in the wall. Um, we didn't and I have um, an extension right here so if I ever want to put something up here I have an extension but uh, we didn't cut down the trim down there just because you know I don't know I get tired of things and I might want to move it so I didn't um, have him cut the baseboard down but that's fine um, and I really like it I mean for it to be a mirror turned into a faux fireplace it looks really nice to me, well, that's my opinion, but um, so I'll share like the stuff that I have up here. I have a picture of my dad with my daughter. She was uh, one years old, um, and as you guys know, my dad has passed away, so um, I will always have a picture of him. This is actually his horse, um, and my mom let me uh, bring it here, and I don't know, it's just real sentimental to me because uh, he really liked horses and all kinds of, you know, farm animals. When he was younger, he used to actually own horses. So, uh, it's real sentimental to me. Um, this mirror, uh, my mom gave it to me. It used to be her boss's and then she gave it to me. So, that's why I don't want to get rid of it. Just because, um, you know, I don't want to paint it or anything. If I end up getting rid of it, I'll just give it back to her. Because, you know, she could do whatever she wants with it. But... For now, it's going to stay. I have these Ray Dunn pieces. Um, these right here are uh, the Home Sweet Home vases and some greenery from Walmart. And then I have some candlesticks from TJ Maxx, I believe. Um, I think they are. Uh, they're just kind of like, you know, that wood tone colors and it's really popular right now. So, um, yeah, I have the taller one and then the the shorter one and then I just have this thing back here I usually put my curtains to the side so I just leave it back there this wreath I kind of made myself I just use a Dollar Tree um, the wire and then I put the burlap and then I put the bow but the bow is kind of all a little off I just need to fix it but it's just cream and I think the ribbon is from Walmart and then up here it says Trasavinia established 2008 that's when we got married and I made that sign using vinyl and then the actual frame is from Hobby Lobby because they uh, make them already like that you just put whatever you want on them so that is this space right here
moving on to this side, I do have some bowls, they're already done bowls for my dogs, but I have their bowls down here. Um, we'll move over here to like the back of the couch. Um, this is where this window is. But I have these signs. I'm actually making these. That's why they're right there. Um, the bench, I don't have any pillows because I can never decide what pillows to put right here. So um, I'm working on these boards. I sell them. And I just have them right there because those are a couple orders that I have. This bench I bought from OfferUp as well. And I painted it and stained it. And then I have this basket. Um, this basket I got from the side of the road. Um, somebody was throwing it out in my neighborhood and I picked it up, cleaned it, and I've had it I think for over like four years. I just put a lantern when the, and then the number three sign is from Hobby Lobby years ago. Um, I don't think they have it anymore. And then I have some cotton and some bowl filler in there. So I just put that right there. And then on this side, my mom gave me this plant. I don't even know what kind of plant it is. Honestly, I kill every type of plant available <laughs> that gets in my hand. So I'm surprised this one has been okay. But I just put a stand right here with the plant. And um, I recently purchased this pot from, look, I'm already starting to kill the damn plant. Um, I bought this pot from... Where did TJ Marshalls? I'm sorry. It was about $5.99 and I like the natural look of it. But yeah, let's see how long I can keep this plant alive. Uh, if you know what this type of plant is, let me know down in the description. And then um, right here, I mean in the comments, right here I have one of my dog's beds. Um, and then we'll move on to the rest of the living room. Okay, so these are the couches, my couches. They're actually newer. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I actually had a sectional and I recently got these the beginning of this year. Um, I actually, this one was brand new and the brand that it, they are, they're the Stone and Beam from Amazon. Um, I'll link them down below. I think they still have them. They're kind of expensive on Amazon. Um, I actually purchased them from an auction. This one I paid $15. It's the same brand. It was a little bit dirty and it was missing the feet, but that's okay because this, this um, actual what's it called couch is actually worth like over five hundred dollars so I didn't mind it does have the slip covers it's kind of like the Ikea ones but um I think these are a little bit more better quality to be honest um and the slip covers like I said do come off but I have all kinds of pillows um and then I have blankets I have blankets on the couch just because uh my daughter you know and my nephew are always like putting their feet on the couch so I'd rather just have blankets so that they could get that dirty instead of the slip cover but I have some pillows these are all pillow covers from Amazon like this one is a pillow from Amazon um, so is this one um, it's just like that ticking stripe but in the cream color um, this one is I forgot the brand and the company that does these it's Qualtry I finally remembered. It's Qualtry.com or you could get it from, um, what's that website? It's a website that you can, you can buy the voucher from. If I remember, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> this is another one from Amazon, which I rather prefer to buy, um, the pillow covers than actual pillows. Again, this one is from Amazon as well. And I've had good luck with Amazon pillows. I, yeah, so I, I tend to go for the more neutral color as you can tell um, So that's this couch and then moving on to this one. Um, I have Like I said, I have blankets just because you know my daughter and my nephew They just you know come and plop their themselves on the couch and I just rather them dirty the actual blankets and then, um, so that's why I have blankets on top of it, but it does have slip covers that can be washed. I just, I, that's why I do it. Um, I guess when you have kids, you understand. Um, this pillow cover is actually from Amazon as well. It's actually really nice quality. Um, inside are like my Christmas pillows and, uh, or they might be the Christmas or my Target ones, but then I have this pillow right here. This one's actually a fall one. 
and I will be pulling it out soon or turning it over soon but it has like that burlap around it and then the other side well there's Sophia you guys always see her she's on the couch even though she should be right here on her bed but it's okay she's she's a little spoiled but that's the couches um they're great quality to be honest to for me they are um and i got them for a really good deal plus i sold my couches so that kind of paid for these um then i have up here i have some shelves and i have a nightstand so i'll go into detail i do have a coffee table right here um it's a big coffee table it used to be my mom's boss and then my mom had it and then she gave it to me and i chalk painted it but i love this table i'll probably never get rid of it <laughs> because it's one of those pieces that has just been in our family for a long time and it's just a great quality piece um, i just need to redo it again Right here I have um, some, just this basket from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year and it's actually really large. And then I have this galvanized pot. It's actually like a water um, container and I just put some blue like greenery stuff in it. Um, actually it was from 4th of July but never got around to actually taking it off. And then I have a lantern with a bow. Uh, that lantern is from Walmart. I had picked it up on clearance. And then this, uh, my friend Rosie had uh, sent me. I think it's from the 99 cent store. And then if you guys saw my last Goodwill haul, then you guys saw this um, piece. It's a wood piece. And this is what I was talking about to put it down because this is kind of like metal um, and wired. So. I can lay something down so I put that down here and then I put the lantern on there and this little house is actually from Target Dollar Spot um, a couple years ago okay, moving on to the shelves so this one is the one on the right side and I just have some candlesticks a Ray Dunn little house clock and then I do have this it's kind of like a little bench. I found that at Goodwill this weekend. I just thought it was, I don't know, cute, I guess. And then a little water spray for your plants. And then that sign that said head on back was from Hobby Lobby. I don't think they carry it anymore. And then this sign is um, was from Hobby Lobby last year in their spring springtime. But I bought it, I think, 66% off. It's a really pretty piece. And then... Moving on to this side. So this is the left hand side of the, this little, um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm already tired, uh, from this sign um, over here, I'll get closer. So right here, I just have some candlesticks that were from Goodwill. And then on this sign that I made, it says, someone we love is in heaven. There's a little bit of heaven in our home. So I made that myself and that's for my dad and my sister. And then right here, um, I have these hanging um, candles. I, they're like lanterns. So I have this table. This table I actually picked up from Goodwill and I just redid. So what I did is I stained the top and then I painted the bottom base and then I just spray painted the knob and I just have a lamp and then some tissues right here. Um, I don't have anything on the bottom. Um, I need to put something right there, but I just don't have anything right now. And then right here on this ledge, I just have um, these items up here. Um, so I'll just share that with you guys. I have another plant my mom gave me. And then a picture of my husband and my daughter. Uh, this plant is a little bit bigger. So I need a pot. I don't have a pot for it. But I'm hoping to find a cute pot but I just haven't found one. And then on this basket right here, I just have some books. Um, some are Dollar Tree ones, some are just random books. And then I think 
I shared a DIY on my channel how to make this. It just has a greenery. Usually I have a um, candle right here, but I moved it somewhere else. And then this little house is from Target Dollar Spot. And then this little countdown is also from Target Dollar Spot um, a couple years ago. And then on this side, I just have a picture of my daughter with a heart picture frame. And then um, over here, I have a basket with some lamb's ear and then the other um, lamp. And then on this side, I have this couch. It's a recliner, but uh, we have this here. We've had it for several years. And when my dad used to come over, he used to sit right here. So I don't plan on getting rid of it. And then I have another one of those lanterns on the very top. And I just have a candlestick. So I have them on both sides. I have one right there and right there. Um, but that is it for my living room. And then we'll do part two as the kitchen so I can get a little bit more detailed. But I'll give you guys the panoramic of the actual living room. Don't know, that is Archie. Archie! Archie! Come here. Come here, Archie. Come here. He's leaving.